When it was first rolled out in the state, leaders really thought TK was a lot more like kindergarten. But I think that as we've learned more, it really should look a lot more like preschool. The challenges that I'm seeing is that we still have this mindset that we need kids holding pencils and we need them doing worksheets, but it's helping educators and leaders kind of shift their mindset to saying, it's okay to let kids play with math and play with shapes and play with all kinds of learning ideas because it's exactly what they should be doing when they're four years old. Kern County has a lot of school districts here and we have a lot of rural school districts. So one of the things that we as a team, uh, the UPK team do, is support our transitional kindergarten teachers in implementing in the classroom developmentally appropriate strategies and trying to get materials to them. And we really wanted to bring in some outside expertise and really provide teachers with a high quality experience around instructing math because that can be challenging in the classroom. The first thing I noticed was everything was hands-on. Like, it's not just like they're telling you things. We do the activities the kids are going to do. We are the students. I have actual activities that are linked to actual foundations, that are linked to skills we want the kids to know, that I now have taken and I've seen them and I've done them and now I can go take them to my classroom. It's rare to find somebody who has a doctorate in math but yet a specialization in early education. And so I think we've been very, very fortunate uh, to have that combination because it's helping our TK teachers really understand like the purpose behind the math that they're teaching. And where does that go from here? You know, what are, what are the building blocks you're building on? And then what does that look like in future years so that they really can kind of hone in on that learning for those kids? I love this training that we've been doing. I feel like it's college level. It's really given me lots of great resources. It's given me a different way of thinking about how I teach math and challenge me. And I see when I go and I take the ideas back and I use them, how my students just light up. And it helps me to be a better teacher to them in lots of areas and think differently. And it's just been wonderful. Every time I came to one of the classes, I learned something new and I was able to apply it in my classroom and really focus in on that like problem solving, that critical thinking and how to implement it into the classroom. A lot of these concepts, we read them on paper, we're like, oh, that's too advanced. Like a four-year-old can't possibly do that. But when you do it through play, when you have an activity, when you have a block and you have pictures, they're so bright. And they are mastering these skills that we think a four-year-old couldn't possibly ever even consider because we're introducing it through play and it's hands-on and they're learning it. And it's so awesome. <laughs> This is the first of a series that we hope to continue next year with bringing Innova Map back to kind of repeat the same uh, content for an additional 30 teachers to take back to their classrooms and strengthen their math instruction.